NASA has introduced its Z2 prototype suit. Now this suit isn't really for spacewalks, more for um, exploring surfaces of planets per se. They're hoping that people can vote on what the aesthetic as aspect of the suit will be. So let's take a look at a couple of those. <laughs> this is biomimicry. So the, the interesting thing about, I think, these suits. Mm -hmm. First of all, I'm, I'm not entirely sure about some of these uh, tests that they're running because that's they're, dark. yeah, that's, that is actually a really interesting, I, I voted for biomimicry. Well, why did you I'm pick gonna, biomimicry? Uh, just because of the idea that it uses textures and stuff similar to scales and similar to uh, shark skin, mm -hmm. things that we find in nature that could potentially be defensive towards abrasion and things like that. Um, and I just liked it. I thought it was cool. Again, we're looking at aesthetics yeah. here, and it, we're not looking at functionality. I don't think it would be good if the public voted on functionality. No, <laughs> definitely not. We would come up with some rather bizarre it, ideas. There would be more like lasers and... But the idea of um, crowdsourcing this is somewhat interesting. I mean, we are getting... NASA is getting involved, even if it's through almost apparel, uh, it's, you know, it is getting the public involved and engaged and it's also going to be able to measure how much of an interest it generates because of the votes. Uh -huh. um, I think that the only questions that I have are about why are we testing this in full vacuum if it's not going to be, it's a non-flight suit. Why are we testing it in the uh, neutral buoyancy, what is it, uh, lab, which is what we use to train astronauts for these spacewalks. Now, this is specifically just to explore maybe services of, let's say, the moon, yes. for example. Yes. You um, have a walk on Mars that you're going to do, which is uh, one, one, day. one day, then this is what you potentially would be wearing. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I'm also curious to see what people who are wearing it think. Yeah. So the the sub the astronauts, so what they think. I wonder what Chris Hadfield would have to say about this <laughs> suit. Um, I also, what's the circuitry inside? Because I, I don't know if you know, there's an urban kind of myth, or it's a story. It was an anecdote, but at this point, I feel like it's been morphed into something else I about hear this. The, the tears. So during a uh, spacewalk, uh -huh. um, Chris Hadfield was for the first time seeing Earth from space, yes. and he said it was almost a religious experience. I've heard about this before. It's called overview effect, and it's yes. only experienced by astronauts when they're surveying the world, yeah. and it's, it's kind of like an existential philo philosophical feeling about yeah. what life is and what the world is and what it all means. Well, it's, uh, the thing that I heard was, I'm not supposed to see this. I was not meant to see Earth this way. Mm -hmm. And um, there's one story that is about an astronaut suddenly getting teary-eyed because he got so emotional when he saw Earth from space that all of a sudden you would hear on the intercom, don't cry, don't cry, because the water and the tears could damage the circuits inside and could cause it to short circuit. So they're like telling him, do not cry, you little bitch, don't cry. Oh no! Um, but then that Chris, would make me cry. Chris Hadfield actually had a story where he went blind because because there's no um, gravity, the water from this tear started covering his entire eye, then moved over to his other eye and blinded him him when he was doing the spacewalk and he couldn't get rid of it. Um, he did do a video on that inside of the, the ISS where yes. he, he injected water in front of his eyes to show us what it would look like. Yes. And sorry, we're digressing from the we suit, are. but I, I wonder what they would say. I wonder what their vote would be and if they have a preference. So our, uh, in terms of what we can vote on, it's purely aesthetic. Is yes. there any, um, I guess, Po uh, is there any advantage of one over the other in terms of design or not uh, so much? No, not necessarily. These are all protecting against abrasions mm -hmm. and uh, weather conditions that are not necessarily in full vacuum because they're not protecting against uh, micrometeorite and they're not protecting against radiation and they're not protecting against these things because they're non-flight. So the difference is you have biomimicry which is uh, pretty much based on structures that we find that are protective on Earth right now in oh. animals. Um, we have technology, which is the opposite. It's kind technology of high tech. Technology looks like Tron to me. It does. It has those lines, there right? It it's There it is. And uh, that you can, I think from what I read, it says that you can pretty much customize the design mm -hmm. uh, to identify different crew members. This is Tron Legacy. 
Yes. Through and through. And then the third <laughs> one is trends in society, which is kind of confusing to me. I don't understand this one. I, I don't either. And it says it's supposed to be reflective of what everyday clothes could look like in the, the not too distant part future. Looks a little bit like pantaloons. I'm not entirely <laughs> sure. Um, if that's what clothes is going to look like in the near future, I'm hesitant to move towards that. I don't know. I don't understand the trends in society, but you know, maybe you guys can go online and, and figure it out and comment on it. And we stuff. actually have until April 15th, yes, tax day, <laughs> to finish all our voting for which um, Z2 design should be implement, implemented by NASA. Uh, but the other stuff is not up to us, such as the yeah. circuitry and being tested in the vacuum, and if it needs to be tested in the vacuum. Did um, you vote? I did not vote yet. Okay. I don't Do you know, know which what one I want you're going to vote well, for? Well, not the last one. <laughs> uh, I'm still deciding. Which one? Which design do you like the best? And what do you think of the Z2? Now, please let us know below in the comments. Be sure to vote. That, that link is in the description, remember. And please be sure to subscribe.